Posso? Contigo. Pensou em fazer alguma coisa como modelo ou não? Não. Não? E por receio, por medo, alguma coisa ou não? Eu não gosto. Não gosta? This is how Alison Shornack goes to work. He is a modeling scout operating in the south of Brazil. Alison is just one of dozens of modeling scouts who flock to this area, called Rio Grande do Sul, at Brazil's southernmost point. In a region defined by its mountains and farmland, models would seem an unlikely export here. But since the 1990s, the presence of scouts like Allison has exploded. I research the genetic makeup of the city on the internet, and we have a book about the South that tells us the history of each city and how it was colonized. We like smaller towns with Italian and German lineage, with people that live and work in the field and villages. This helps keep the genetic makeup more concentrated. More than 70% of Brazil's models come from the South. 50% come from Rio Grande do Sul, an area with 1 20th of the country's population. Giselle Bunchen was discovered here at age 13. Alessandro Ambrosio was scouted in Rio Grande do Sul at age 11. And many others were discovered in small towns in this area. For better or worse, this genetic cocktail has come to represent an ideal look for the global fashion industry. The residents here are proud of their reputation. I allow scouts during the break between classes. It's always been allowed for them to observe freely. We go to schools, gyms, town centers, beauty salons. I look as every good scout does for something different. The girl has to be tall, she has to easily maintain her measurements, she has to have the desire to be a model. My dream is to be like Giselle Bunchen. Michele Muro is 16 years old. She grew up on her family's tobacco farm here in Venancio Aires. Now, over the course of several months, Allison's agency will send Michele to Sao Paulo, a thousand kilometers away, where she will attend modeling courses and try for a chance at stardom. I think it's normal to be scared. Like, what am I doing? But then you get used to it, you get used to everything. I want to become new in every sense. I want to become a new Michelle. Michelle's family shares a single cell phone. Her mother has never seen the beach, and her father apologizes to us for his poor grammar and lack of education. For Michelle and her family, modeling may be a way to a better future. The girls here are like me, from the south, and we're having a lot of fun. Um, dois, três, quatro, lado, sai. A entra por causa da fama. Many of the girls get into this because of the fame, but I explained to them that this is a job like any other job. Few of them make it. Many of them have talent, but most cannot reach success. To become a top model is very difficult. When I went to Sao Paulo at 15, it was really scary because I'm from a small town in Brazil. You know, like my dad takes me to school and you know everybody. And to be in Sao Paulo, that big city, it was, it was, it was just crazy. Some see signs that the market is trending away from light-skinned European features to include different ethnic looks. Right now, I feel like people really want to see more real women in these magazines. They want to see real bodies, they want to see different types of bodies. I think the market for black models is growing. In the South, it is very hard to find a dark-skinned model. If places like Rio Grande do Sul become less trendy, Alison may have to look for other destinations.
but for the meantime, he sticks to the South. This is Alexi Barrio Nuevo for the New York Times.